of the light, children of the day, and soldiers of the cross. In Matthew 10, I also think Luke 10, if I recall correctly. Go and read the chapter. It will take you three, four minutes. Lord Jesus sends out the disciples two by two, and he says, go and preach the kingdom of heaven is near. And then he says, when you go, and I paraphrase in my own words, if you go into a city and somebody offers you lodging, kind to you, because you are doing my work and offer you lodging and a place to stay or food, accept it. Accept it and let your blessing rest upon that house. My first question is, how often when you walk in with fellow Christians, do you bless them and bless the house? Maybe it's a good habit, good habit to learn. But there's a more important point I want to make later on in, in that same narrative. It says, and if you are not welcome, in other words, in other words those people are not open for the gospel and the teaching and, and the work of Jesus. Let your blessing return to you, for it will not settle on them. Sure. We live in a time where it's so easy to say, Ah, oh, bless you, or bless that person, or pray God bless so and so. But do you understand that someone needs to be worthy for God's blessing to rest upon them? And it's not your own work. It's not through your own goodness or abilities that you become worthy. It's through Jesus that you are worthy to receive the blessings of the Almighty. It's in relationship and closeness to Him, in Him, you become worthy of God's blessing upon you. And if you are not worthy, God's blessing will not settle upon you. Think about your life and how close you live to Jesus. Keep your eyes fixed on heaven.